How well do you what's happening? Hope these are all good. Today I'm going to be replacing the fuel filter on my Sprinter van here. I've uh, done the rest of the service yesterday, I forgot to film it, so that included the air filter, oil filter, new oil and a new oil sub plug. So today we will crack on and finish it by changing the fuel filter. First you need to remove this air filter housing. here and you remove the electrical clips here and here this cable for jump starting of the positive lead for your battery there is a piece of plastic under here that you push in and that slides up and there's the same process here for the oil filler neck That the other note. And now we can remove the air filter housing that just pops up here at the front of the engine bay and it slides off. There is a screw here, you release that screw and you remove the oil filler neck hose and then you remove this heat cover, dust cover, off the top of the engine bay. And here is a fuel filter here, that is a hose for if there is to remove any water, if the water ever gets in the fuel lines, the fuel lines sensor. And for removing these fuel lines, you see these wee clips here, you just really need a tool like such. And you can just pry it, clip it off like so. Same with the other. There is also two clips here and here which hold the fuel filter into the housing so I will disconnect them, disconnect the electrical connection for the fuel sensor and I have the fuel lines sitting out in place and I have a rag to catch any drops of fuel. So the fuel filter should just lift out, like so. Now to remove the fuel sensor from the filter you need a torque T25 screwdriver here. the new one and once you've got the sensor back in fully to the new filter you can then put your two screws back in and so to release that sensor from the old filter you have to give it a quarter turn clockwise and then a little persuasion to release it and there's a little bit of friction from the o-rings but if you just persist gently with it you will get it out there we'll fit the new filter back in place back into the housing so before i make sure before i connect it into the housing i will put the lines and stuff back in place and the electrical connection and I will clip the two metal brackets back in for the housing and this clips back on to here like so Put the clips back on over the pipes.
and there we have it that is the new fuel filter in place so now I will connect everything back up And now to prime the new fuel filter, what you do is you put your key in the ignition, you repeat this process twice, key in the ignition, click once, click twice, wait between 30 and 40 seconds. I won't bore you with that, we'll now just cut to when I've done it twice and start the vehicle up. Quick check, there's no fuel leaking out while it's priming. So far so good. Okay, now let's start her up. Start her up, start him up, his name's Errol. Let's start him up. And there we have it. Thank you to anybody that watched, that is how you change the fuel filter on a Mark II 2010 Mercedes Sprinter. So if you're like me and are not a mechanic but are wanting to do your own vehicle maintenance that you feel comfortable doing, I hope that helps. hope it helps you cut out any guesswork and I hope it helps you give yourself a bit of confidence that you'll be able to do the job. Thanks very much. Peace out.